Hi, this is Lori from The Wish Project, and I'm gonna talk to you today about ways you can volunteer without coming into the warehouse. Um, we have a lot of students, college, high schoolers, um, just students in general that are home remote learning, um, but they kinda wanna help out. At the same time, uh, a lot of college students, high schoolers, uh, troops, scouts, uh, earning badges or volunteer hours needed, um, but not necessarily can come into the warehouse. Uh, so they want to find ways that they can help uh, outside. And so there's many ways that you can help uh, outside uh, just by in general speaking about the WISH project, sharing when you go out onto our website, our Facebook page, uh, you share uh, when you see we have a need. Uh, for instance, diapers, wipes, uh, there's specific sizes, five and six. Uh, wipes. You can do a diaper drive. Uh, you can do a baby wipes drive. Uh, you just talk with friends and family, spread the word. You could be the primary location where people could drop these items off to you. Or uh, if you have family members who say, hey, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to send you the money and you go out and buy them, um, deliver them to us. Um, any time or effort that is put in to this, if you're needing the volunteer hours, you know, we can sign off on that. Um, or just in general, you're just volunteering and helping out here at the WISH Project uh, for the families that are in need. Um, other ways is we have different projects going on. Uh, Christmas is coming up, um, so if you're interested in figuring out how you can help outside of the warehouse uh, for Christmas, uh, you just got to uh, email me, Lori at thewishproject.org. We can discuss that. Um, but I'm just going to kind of do a generalization for just kind of everybody just to kind of give you all the information on ways you can help outside of the warehouse. Uh, we do birthday bags. Uh, one of the things in birthday bags that we do, so you can do a collection of the birthday supplies, or you can put together a couple birthday bags, um, and then you just deliver them to us. Um, and in the birthday bags, uh, for instance, like we have a cute little table cover, napkins, cake mix, plates, utensils, icing. Um, we even in this one has a cute little uh, party favor uh, for the little girls. Has a little cup little tangled hair extension headbands. Um, so this definitely is a birthday bag for a little girl. We give birthday bags out uh, for our clients when it's a birthday and we add a birthday gift, uh, age appropriate in there. Uh, anytime though, if you're wanting to do, uh, for instance, like birthday bags, we do ask that you contact us first because we let you know if we have a need for them or not. Um, another way is to do toiletry collections uh, because we do put together toiletry bags. And in our toiletry bag, we have, uh, if it's for a female, we do have feminine products. We have a shampoo conditioner. This is a combination shampoo conditioner. We do a body wash. And we do ask if you do a general, because that way if we're putting together for both male and female, but then we do like, you know, female deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, these go in our toiletry bags. For the males, uh, we do have like a deodorant for them. And then we do like the men's all-in-one face body shampoo. So nice. Then we do also cleaning kits. Uh, so you can do a collection of any of the cleaning items that we put in here. Uh, we have toilet paper, paper towels, laundry detergent, dish soap. Uh, we do have like cleaning disinfectant spray and a hand soap. Let's see the laundry soap, hand soap. Um, so these are items that we put together. So you don't necessarily have to do a full kit. Uh, you can do a nice collection of the items that go in there. So if you just kind of want to focus on one thing, just say, you know what, I'm going to do a collection of laundry soaps. Uh, or I'm going to do a collection of body washes. Uh, I'm going to do a collection of shampoo conditioners. Uh, so these are items you just kind of set up. Uh, you just kind of figure out a way to get the word out to family, friends. Um, so I'm going to be collecting these items. Um, from the time you do contact, the time if you have to do any of the shopping, or the time you do the collection, and the time you drop off, those hours can add up if you are needing hours uh, for Cub Scouts, troops. Uh, uh, volunteer hours for school, um, but those are ways you can help out. Um, and like I said, if we're doing a um, project at a time, which Christmas is coming up, you contact me again, Lori at thewishproject.org um, for any of these um, 
ideas or thoughts on how you can help out, um, you just got to notify us. Uh, another way also to help out is uh, doing a coat drive. We're getting ready coats, hats, and gloves. We're getting ready for winter. Uh, blankets. People are contacting us for these needs and items. Uh, you can just do a collection for those items. Um, and again, diapers. We're always needing diapers. We're always needing baby wipes. Um, my biggest uh, thing that I like to do, um, I haven't done with COVID, but usually in the springtime I did a nice diaper drive. Uh, fire stations love helping out with those items um, or in general uh, people are doing less contact so uh, you probably would have to do those at home. We do have an Amazon wish list. Uh, if you went onto our website or Facebook page you will find our Amazon wish list and we have in there uh, if we have for baby uh, what our needs are you can just click on there so that way you can order straight from there and it just automatically comes to us. Uh, we do ask though that you put your name on there so we can thank you properly. Um, but those are ways that you can help here at the Wish Project. Not necessarily physically come in, uh, but you are a big help. Uh, donors in general. It's the only way that we are successful and we can do what we do is by the wonderful donations that um, you are wonderful donors to. And we do love having the volunteers coming in. If you have any questions on that, we are limiting who is coming to the warehouse. But you can email Tina. T-I-N-A at thewishproject.org uh, to discuss that. Um, or again, as I said, if you kind of want to be able to volunteer and help outside, this is a wonderful way to do it. Peace out.